What's up guys, Justin here with the SketchUpEssentials.com back with another SketchUp quick tutorial for you. So in today's video I wanted to talk about a couple different tips for working with textures and materials inside of SketchUp. Before we get started, today's video is brought to you by the SketchUp Essentials course. The SketchUp Essentials course is a course I created to give you a start to finish training in SketchUp. So if that's something you're interested in, you want to take your SketchUp training to the next level, make sure you check that out at the SketchUpEssentials.com slash course. Now let's go ahead and just jump into it. So this is kind of a space that I'm working on for a different tutorial and this may actually be a speed modeling tutorial where I kind of walk you through creating it a little bit later. But for right now I just want to talk about a couple things having to do with the textures in this model. And also just SketchUp's ability to deal with textures in general. And so what I wanted to talk about is a few different tips for resizing and placing these textures inside your model. And so we're going to start off and we're going to take a look at the floor. And so the floor is an image that I brought in and I added in the materials section of my tray. And when I use the uh, eyedropper and I sample this, you can see how you get kind of a preview of this as well as the name. In this case, this is a higher resolution floor that I've downloaded from the website polygon.com. But you can really kind of download these anywhere. Um, you can get them from a whole bunch of different texture sites, that kind of thing. Um, the point is this is an image that I've brought in and, and that I'm using. And so the first thing I want to talk about is sometimes when you first bring an image in you can see how it doesn't tile properly or I mean the size isn't proper is what I'm getting at so if you look at this for example all of your repeating wood floor is way too small like if you look at this window and let's say you had a person in here let's say I was to bring in my default model as kind of a scale comparison to the flooring material you can see if you use that for scale, all of these wood planks are way too small. Well, what you can do in this case is you can go into the edit section of your of your tray in the materials section and you can adjust the sizing and uh, the repetition of that texture. And so tip one is just you can come in here and you can adjust this and let's say if I type in a value of five feet instead of what it was before, which I think was one foot, you can see how this is tiling in a way that makes more sense now. Like if you look at this compared to my default model, it's at least close. Like these at least look like wood planks that you could bring in. And uh, probably they're not quite as big as I want them to be. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to adjust this to something like 10 feet. And so what that means is that's going to tile this image every 10 feet. But you can see how this flooring material is resizing as I do that. So that's the first tip is that's a really easy way to resize your um, materials inside of SketchUp. And so one thing I want to note, and this gets into the second tip, is right now um, you see how this chain is showing as unbroken. So if I click on this, it'll show as broken. If I click on it again, it shows as unbroken. And you can see how that shows as unbroken. Well, what that means is that means that the aspect ratio right now is set or it's fixed, meaning that if I adjust one, the other one adjusts as well, meaning your flooring maintains the same proportions. However, if I was to come in here and click on this and unlock this, and then I was to set this uh, value to something like 10 feet, if you watch my flooring material in here, you can see how you can adjust one without adjusting the other. And so when I do that, you can see how these flooring tiles are actually getting wider um, because I've unlinked the length and the width. So I can now make this wider or longer without adjusting the other one. You do have to be careful that you don't distort your textures, but if you have a flooring material like this that you want to toy around with, well, what if I did wider planks or narrower planks? You can see how you can um, unlock this aspect ratio and play around with that. And by the way, if you ever get stuck, um, you, you want to go back to what it was before, you can just click on this button right here for undo width and height changes, and this will take you back to your default. So tip three is the ability to adjust the orientation of a material. So you can see how on the roof right here, you can actually adjust the orientation of the way that this is applied. And so you can do that. And I will note this only works on the raw faces inside of SketchUp. So I have to click in here um, and you can see how this material has been applied to this face. But once you have this raw face selected, if you right click and you go down to texture, you can actually position this texture. And so positioning that means that you can move this around. And so for right now, I'm going to talk about a quick way to turn that. So you would just right click on this texture and click position. And what that's going to do is that's going to pop up your position texture. Whoops. Tools. So you can see how 
If I look over here to the right, I've got all of these different push pins. I don't want to talk about those right now. What I want to talk about right now is an easy way to rotate this. So you can see how right now this wood material is running this way. This is the way that it's been applied to this face. Well, if I right click on this when I'm inside a position texture and I just click rotate, I can click 90 degrees and that'll rotate my texture without me having to mess around with all the push pins or anything like that. So that's a really easy way to make an adjustment to the orientation of of a texture. And so the next thing I want to talk about is let's say that we go outside of this uh, space for a second and we go over to this other building where I'm applying a different material. And so in this case, this is just a default SketchUp material and it's just like a metal seamed panel. Well, when you look at this, one thing you might notice is as of right now, this last seam doesn't line up up here. It just kind of hangs down. A lot of the time what you want to do is you want to align this to a line or something like that, which means you need to do a little bit more fine adjustment. So instead of coming in here and trying to guess what that needs to be in order to get everything to line up, you can see I can adjust this to two foot by two foot and it gets it's even worse. You don't really want to adjust the or, or the uh, location of this on a face that way. Instead, what you want to do is you want to select the face that has the material applied to it, and you want to right click and go down to position texture again. And what that's going to do is that's going to add your push pins. And so if you remember, this push pin, the red one, is going to allow you to move your material around. So you can use this to kind of set up that orientation. In this case, probably what I would do is I would move down to this corner and I would set my bottom so that my metal panel aligns down at the bottom. Well, then what I would do is I would move this other push pin, which is the green one, I would move that directly above my red one. Well, what that one allows me to do is it allows me to rotate, but it also allows me to scale. And so in this case, what I could do is I could take this material and I could drag this up. That'll let me scale this up so that this seam aligns with this face right here. And so once you've done that, you can see how you can use this to align materials on a face really easily. So that's where I'm going to end this video. That's just four quick tips on things you can do to get your uh, textures and materials to sit the way that you want them to inside of SketchUp. Leave a comment below. Let me know what you thought. Was this helpful to you? Is this something you could use? I just love having that SketchUp conversation with you guys. If you like this video, please remember to click that like button down below. If you're new around here, remember to click that subscribe button for new SketchUp content every week. If you like what I'm doing on this channel, please consider supporting me on Patreon. Every little bit helps, even if it's only a dollar a month. So make sure you check out that link in the notes down below. But in any case, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. I really appreciate it, and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.